Hello beautiful people, welcome to my vlog. Since the last vlog, I've eventually succeeded to get out of the jungle, or at least the normal jungle, and I am now in concrete jungle, aka Panama City. I am now uh, in Casco Viejo at Selena's hostel. There's a very good environment in here, and finally I have my own space, which is currently very much needed. Um, the past few days have been a lot to digest. Um, so when I started packing my stuff on Friday, I had a missed call from my sister who called me at 5 a.m. So I decided to call her back um, for her to pass the time with me while I'm packing my stuff. And she told me that my father passed away. My father had dementia since he was 57, which was 2007, and in 2012 he collapsed and ever since then he was on breathing machines at the hospital. We don't really know how much he was aware of and how much um, of the brain still exists. Um, for people that don't know what dementia is, so dementia is basically when a part of the brain is deteriorating. Alzheimer is the most known and most common type of dementia and actually the easiest one. My father had PIC, or at least that's what they thought he had. They gave him between five to seven years. He was still alive for 13 years, so we're not really sure what was it. And after eight years of a person still being alive or existing, you start to develop hopes that he will be okay, that by some miracle, some invention will exist. I downloaded um, music that's supposed to affect the, the functioning of the brain and um, let him kind of hear it. And how did my, my mom put it? You kind of someone tells you that you're going to get a smack in the face and after a year you know that it's going to come and you know that it's going to come but it doesn't come so you're like okay it's not going to happen and then it does and the timing was impeccable i mean i can't imagine trying to deal with it and still being with the testosterone ego environment in the jungle have a place for me to digest it all and there's um, a cinema a hole in here and me and my father when he was still okay we used to have um, this tradition that we all the time went to f watch films together so at one of the days I'm gonna watch a film with him, even though physically he's not with me. Um, this morning, today is Sunday, my family in Israel did the burial for him, the funeral for him. And um, I am um, So the app on my phone was not calculated properly and basically the I got to log in to Zoom and connect with them only at the end of the funeral. They've sent me videos of that, um, of all the eulogies and everything and I watched it and it was really hard to see it from afar and knowing that I'm not there but even when I did succeed to talk to them at the end of the funeral it was a part of me was really upset that I wasn't able to log in to zoom and see the actual funeral but a part of me was relieved because it was so hard it was like an outside body experience I mean seeing it from the phone and them taking the phone everywhere showing me only specific things and deciding for me what to see when i'm like I'm, i see my niece walking afar and i just want to 
to go to her and talk to her and hug her but someone else is holding the phone and they're taking me to say the hi to someone to some, another person and kind of not having control on who do I talk to and where do I go and um, and thinking that I will have needed to pass the funeral without the ability to actually I don't know be there next to my mom and hug her or next to my sister when my mom and my brother went to organize something with the rabbi everything happens for a reason maybe for the best the fact that I wasn't able to log in one of the rabbis from Chabad came to the hostel and um, I was talking to one of my best friends and she was on the phone with me while he did to me a ceremony a Jewish ceremony on the memory of my father there's a whole process of ripping and um, cutting a part of a, a blouse that is on me and after that there's um, a ceremony of uh, you need to eat to bless the food and eat something and usually part of that food is an egg because of the cycle of life both him and the guy from the group of Israelis that I've collected and tried to get a flight for told me something that kind of reassured me and and told me how much of a blessing it is the fact that I'm trying to help all the Israelites in stuck in Panama and trying to help them get home and it kind of became a mission in the memory of my father and I know that once I will be back in Israel, the Shiva will end. So Shiva uh, is basically a tradition in the Jewish religion that people, after a person dies, they sit for seven days um, in the, per the house of the person that is mourning and everybody comes, bring food and come to share uh, stories about the person's life and uh, console the the people that are in mourn. So I'm currently gonna do Shiva by myself in Panama um, with having them online and I'm hoping to get news about the flight that I'm trying to organize to Israel and that everyone in the group will be able to come with us um, yeah it's not an easy decision to decide if I need to get a flight to Europe and try to see if I manage to find a flight from there to Israel and then maybe when I will get to France they will put me in quarantine so it's to take a risk um, but then the fact that now I know that a lot of people are with my mom and with my family during the Shiva uh, I know that the moment that I will come, I know that it will be a time that they need me and it's a time that the rest of the people will kind of go back to their lives so I will be able to be there for my mom. And a part of me is, is relief that is not suffering anymore. A part of me is also shocked. Um, but also grateful for the timing and definitely dealing with it with ego testosterone environment in the jungle would have been a no I'm really sad that I can't be with my family right now and to give a hug to my mom but give a hug to my nieces before I had this unsureness if I need to go back to England where I live regardless of the fact that there are no festivals and theatres at the moment. Basically, I don't have a job right now in there until theatre is back and alive. Yeah, I need to be with my family. So I'm going to send more messages now to the Prime Ministers in Israel and hopefully my initiative will move forward um, because other than me, there are a lot of people in the group that are in a very, very unwell situation, health 
uh, situations, a uh, older couple because of heart diseases and diabetes and definitely we don't want their, their situation to escalate and then they will need to go to the hospital or anything like that. Cross fingers will succeed to get a flight that is in a reasonable price because at the moment the only flights that they offer us are in prices of $2,500 when people can't even manage to get food in here. We have the Jewish community in Panama that they're seriously they're amazing I've lived in so many places around the world and I haven't seen a Jewish community that is so united and so helpful like the one here in Panama and they're helping with sending food to people that don't have the means to do it so part of the morning during the Shiva is the fact that I'm not allowed to buy food for myself and uh, I need to ask for help and even if I want to get myself food I need to ask from someone else to get it for me which is really hard for me because I don't know how to ask for help usually when there are circumstances I know how to provide help and I will offer help but it's very it's, it's something very tricky for me um, even when I had my knee injury it was very hard for me to ask for help uh, from people and I used to live with my boyfriend at the time and it was very hard for me to even ask him for help to get into the box. So now when it comes to asking people for help to, I don't know, to get myself food or asking or people buying me food when I have money and I know that there are so many people at the moment in need the times of corona when I can I have the money I can buy it but I'm not allowed so it's really really tricky and I'm not a strict Jewish uh, religious I'm I'm agnostic I'm not an atheist I believe there's a bigger force than me but I'm gonna keep the the traditions of it after talking to my brother and knowing that it would be important to my father that I will do that. I'm not allowed to take a shower now for one week. But with Corona times, they told me that I can take cold showers. But after <laughs> three and a half months in the jungle, um, yeah, been there, done that. But at least I had one hot shower on Friday evening. So <laughs> that was fun. That's my lesson now will be to ask for help or at least to receive help when it's given. May he rest in peace. See you on the next vlog.